He pled guilty to killing his Spanish teacher for the most awful of reasons because of a bad grade and the prospect of being sent to prison for first degree murder so unnerved this teenage killer that he got a nosebleed. The teen who lured his high school Spanish teacher to her death got a nosebleed in court just as he's about to learn his fate. Jeremy Goodale pled guilty for his role in the crime that shocked Your America, honest. killing his teacher with his best friend because the teacher gave the friend a bad grade. I'm so sorry. Goodale read a statement. Two years ago, I made the worst decision of my life, and I take full responsibility for what I did. What I've taken can never be replaced. Every day, I wish I could go back and stop myself prevent this loss and this pain that I've caused everyone. I was at the Jefferson County Jail speaking with Jeremy. He's one of the boys who killed my mother. The slain teacher's son, Christian, is speaking out today on social media. He was in tears. He was telling me how sorry he was. And I could see that he really meant it. I spoke to teacher Noema Graber's brother-in-law today. Your nephew uh, forgives him. Do you forgive him? I don't feel hate in my heart for him. Uh, he clearly owes a debt to society that he needs to pay. So the slate is not wiped clean. The prosecutor says Goodale may be sorry now, but he wasn't right after the murder. The defendant was pretty blatant in his... Um, I would almost call it bragging about his activities on Snapchat. He had every opportunity to prevent this from happening. And I don't think it could have happened without his participation. He'll be 43 years old before he's eligible for parole. In July, the other student convicted in the murder was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after 35 years. The judge said his involvement was far more sinister because he wielded the baseball bat used to strike the teacher in the head.